Hello, my pretties. It's the Lion King Queen here. Welcome to episode 341 of Shadows and Pretties. So the last mini episode of this, we reviewed the first Free Willy movie of the Free Willy series that came out in 1993. Today we are going to review this sequel to Free Willy called Free Willy Home 2, The Adventure Home. This one came out in 1995 and it is the second movie of the Free Willy series. So, with that being said, I personally really think that this is a very, um, enjoyable sequel. I mean, I personally liked it. Um, we got, you know, some of the original cast characters that returned to play, you know, certain characters. Like, we got August Schellenberg as Randolph, um, Mike, Michael Madsen as Glenn, Jane Atkinson as Annie... New Jason James Richer as Jesse. I mean, we also got some new actors and actresses that were not from the first one that came to do the second movie. So, I'm going to go with the plot and explain what the plot of the second movie is about. In case if you guys haven't seen the second one in a long time and or for those who want a refresher. So, basically, the plot begins... Two years, and, and it fast forwards to two years since Jesse freed Willie and got him back home to his family. The Greenwoods are planning a trip to San Juan Islands to visit Randolph while camping at Camp Norwester. Before they leave, Dwight arrives with news that Jesse's mother was found dead in New York City, left behind another son. This devastates Jesse in many attempts at finding her. He comes to terms with it. After taking his feelings out with Glenn, Jesse's half-brother Elvis is morose, is overly talkative and mischievous. He's also prone to telling lies and easily gets on Jesse's nerves. Just to make matters even worse for Jesse, Elvis is invited along their trip so that they can get to know each other. The Environmental Institute at there, Jesse reunites with Randolph and becomes smitten with his goddaughter Nadine and is introduced to Willie's family during a day of whale watching. He tracks and reunites with Willie at that night. As the Greenwoods continue to enjoy their camping trip, Liberian oil tanker Darka Room runs the aground on Lawson Reef and spills oil due to an engine malfunction, trapping Willie and his siblings, Luna and Little Spot at the campsite. Of course, Luna gets oil in her lungs and breaches herself. Beaches herself. Jesse and the adults go back in the water, but are need further assistance. Ben Brook Oil CEO John Milliner announces a plan to move the whales to captivity until further notice. Jesse challenges this, making him promise to do whatever he can to safety back to their mother, Catspaw, or else he'll be blamed for Luna's death. Luna's condition worsens as the day after Kate Haley retreats her. Jesse and Randolph are used an Indian remedy to help her recover. About at the donut shop, Elvis, who ran away yesterday after Jesse, Glenn, and Annie denied his help, which in turn caused Annie to accidentally break her promise, allowing him to contribute more over here's John Wilcox's real plan to sell the whales. Within the oil spill reaching dangerous proximity at the cove, Ben Brook Oil and the whalers boomed it off as despite it, Jesse, Randolph, and Nadine's objections. They began extracting the whales. Elvis rushes back to camp to warn Jesse and Nadine, and they confront John and let his assistant are knocked into the water after breaking his promise. Willie rescues Little Spot from the extraction. Jesse hijacks the Little Dipper to, to lead the whales to safety. On Jesse's signal, Willie breaks the boom and leads his siblings away. The dacker explodes due to fuel vapors igniting after engineers try to start the generator resulting in the crude oil catching fire. Randolph picks up Glenn and Annie, who return from their unsuccessful search for Elvis until they spotted him on the Little Dipper, and the trio follows the kid's path as Randolph sends a distress call. The whales swim under the flaming oil safely, but the kids fall into danger when they head back to, into another cove. The fogginess from the smoke causes Jesse to hit a rock, and the Little Dipper begins to sink while the flames seal off the cove. A search-and-rescue helicopter locates them, pulling Elvis and Nadine to safety. 
However, Jesse slips out of the harness only inches away from the helicopter, and due to smoke choking the engine, it is forced to leave him behind. Jesse nearly drowns, but Willie returns for his friend and carries him safely under the fire in time for the adults to retrieve Jesse. Although Jesse is curious as why Willie hasn't left, Randolph reveals a signal must be performed. Jesse does it, and he, Glenn, and Annie say goodbye to Willie. Shortly after the coast of the Mer Marine patrols deliver Elvis and Nadine, Elvis gives Jesse a picture of him and their mother as it was taped back together, and also tells Jesse that she talked about him and felt bad about everything. Glenn approves of Jan Annie's proposal of adopting Elvis, when Jesse gets asked about Elvis and knowing his knowledge of whales and whereabouts, he replies, I know. Sometime later, Willie, Luna, and Little Spot reunite with Catspaw in their pod, and thus how the movie ends. I really enjoyed this story. It actually was a really good movie, and it's a really good sequel to Free Willie. I mean, of course, um, they were producing this sequel sometime around the 90s, and it didn't come out till 95, so... I definitely have to say it's definitely a really good movie. I personally I personally really thought it was a good movie. Although it's a nominated for the worst sequel and the sequel nobody was clamoring for, but however, I personally thought it was a really good sequel. It's got good music. I personally really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well made in detail. I personally like everything about it. It's it's a basically a really good um really it's really good i mean the music was just flat out amazing and well made i personally really thought it was enjoyable and well made i i really enjoy it i thought it was a really good um movie i know there is a first sequel to it called um the the rescue which i'll review that in the next episode but this is definitely a really good sequel to free willy i know some people may disagree with me in the comments saying, saying you know free willy 2 was a not a good sequel well I personally thought it was a really nice sequel, and it's a really good continuation of the Free Willy series. As much as I like the first one, this one did just as good. So, I guess with that being said, and that being the case, like I'm always going to say, this is just my own opinion, and if you disagree with me, that's fine too. Um, I really recommend this movie. Um, it's pretty good. You definitely will not regret it. I mean, if you've watched this as a kid, you probably know this is a good sequel. Although, I can respect people's opinion on it. So, with that being the case, and with that being said, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Leave me your thoughts or down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications when I upload. So that way, you guys will not miss an upload. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter... Link to my Twitter account will be in the About page section, so you guys can go follow me on there. If you guys want to follow me on DeviantArt, link to my DeviantArt account will be in the About page section, so you guys can go follow me on there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo. Link to that will also be in the About page section, so you guys can go check it out if you like. And as always, with that being said, that's pretty much all I have to really say. But if I'm missing something, please let me know. As always, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Like I said, this movie is amazing. I highly recommend this movie. It's a good sequel to Free Willy. It's got good actors, actresses, good music, songs. Everything about it is just really good. I definitely recommend this to anybody who really likes this. So, that's pretty much all I have to really say. But if I'm missing something, please let me know what it is in the comments below. And as always... I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace out, like always. I'll see you all next time.